practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army. Get Fisk Unit tough. Come mob with your boy. You understand me? And hit that bell button while you at it so you get notified of when my content drop. You smell me? With that being said, let's get down to business. I'm disappointed in the Giants fans. I'm very disappointed. And the way Kadarius Tony is being treated is flat out unacceptable. He's one of us, okay? We need to throw our full support behind him, encourage him, and help him be better. We don't need to be burying this kid. We don't need to ruin his psyche. We don't need to make him feel like his own fan base is against him. What the hell is wrong with you Giants fans out there <clears throat> going against Kadarius Tony like this? We're not supposed to eat our own. I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted. You did the same thing with Daniel Jones. Fan base destroyed Daniel Jones. Booed his ass at a Yankee game. Kid showed up to a Yankee game and got booed his rookie year. It's disgusting. Other content creators was crying and raging when we drafted him. And nobody is and nobody gave Daniel Jones any credit until he came back down 18 points in Tampa Bay. They was like, oh, we may have something here. But the whole offseason, you ripped the kid. And even now, there's still Giants fans out there that shit on Daniel Jones. And now we got this guy, Kadarius Tony, and it's like, this is Daniel Jones all over again. Leave the kid alone. Leave him alone. He didn't want to play because he didn't sign his contract. Big deal. Is it Kadarius Tony's fault that the equipment manager didn't get him the right size cleat? How's that his fault? Is it Kadarius Tony's fault? That he's not Devontae Smith, he ain't Jalen Waddle, who or, or or Rashawn Slater. Is it his fault that we moved out of the, the 11th pick and took and, and, and took him and got a first round pick? It seems like people wanted Rashawn Slater so bad that they hate Kadarius Tony just because they wanted the guard or the tackle, whatever Slater is. That's bullshit. And as far as the, him catching the Resident Evil the other day, it happens. He caught the Resident Evil virus. He's in isolation. He gonna be okay. It just seems like, bruh, like chill. Got dissing his rap music. You leaving bad comments on his rap songs. He's one of us. You bullying your own player. I can see if this was an eagle channel or a cockroach channel or a cowboy channel. I can see them going in on Kadarius Tony. But Giants fans bury Kadarius Tony more than anybody else. It's coming in home. And as the bully of this team, as the bully of this fan base, the muscle of this damn fan base, I promise to defend this team from all threats, foreign and domestic. So the same way I would go at one of these pussy ass beat reporters who 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 say Joe Judge is a parody or or Daniel Jones is trash the same way I would go on one of them little pussies is the same way I'm gonna come with this fan base this cannot stand I can't allow this we can't eat our own you understand as much as I hate Evan Ingram I gotta hope for the best the season is here I can't bash him anymore because the season is here I gotta hope he goes out there and catches Darius Slayton, hey, did you not listen to my last Kadarius Tony video? I said he's got to be, he, he, Darius Slayton is locked into the number two. He's, you know what I'm saying? Even I've accepted the fact that he's here and I got to throw my support for him. Those are my most two hated Giants, that damn Slayton and that damn Ingram. But even me, you don't see me shitting on them all the time. I've accepted it. They're here. They got to perform now. But you fans out here running your little mouth. Running your mouth. Shut up. Shut up. 
Because you're going to be the same little pussy little fans that are going to be slurping this kid and buying his jersey when he go out there and start balling. You have no reason to disrespect this kid. You have no reason to call him a bust. You have no reason to dislike his music and all this other shit that y'all doing. You have no reason to come at him like this when he hasn't played one down, hasn't had one snap, hasn't had one game, hasn't had one real practice. And y'all already going in on him like he didn't drop the game. He, Evan Ingram dropped the ball for the season. I ain't going to him. This dude Darius Slayton disappeared like he was fucking David Plain. And y'all got on my ass about going on Darius Slayton. I said we should cut his ass. And y'all said, Fist, you gotta chill, Fist. Darius Slayton is nice, Fist. Darius Slayton is this, Fist. Keep that same energy with Kadarius Tony. He's our first round pick. I don't understand this shit. We need to be united. We need to stand together. We need to be mobbing on cockroach fans. We need to be mobbing on cowboy fans. We need to be mobbing on eagle fans. We don't need to be mobbing on our own damn players. The hell is wrong with y'all? I'm sick of this Kadarius Tony slander, man. It's got to stop. I'm not going to tolerate this, man. You a fake fan if you out here calling him a bust. You a fake fan if you out here crying about Kadarius Tony. You a fake fan. I'm calling you out. You's a fake fan, and we don't accept you in this fan base. I'm not going to have it. If you're going to slander a player, it better be valid. If you want to diss Evan Ingram, it makes sense. I don't condone it because he's here. And now that we know he's here to stay, we need to be encouraging his ass too. If you want to slander Darius Slayton, it makes sense. I, but, but I was going to say Wayne Gorman, but he ain't here no more. It makes sense. You want to go with Jason Garrett? It makes sense. Mr. Four Yard Curl himself. Those guys, if you want to go with them, that makes sense. Because there's a reason to take shots at them. I don't condone it and I wouldn't encourage it because we need to uplift them and let them know we got their backs. But they've done some. Garrett, your play calling is trash. Slayton, you, you flat out disappear. Evan can't catch. You want to slander them, it makes sense. But Tony, Tony's done nothing. Not one snap. And you're calling him a bust? Hey, Giants fans, remember the last player who had a horrible offseason? Remember the last rookie we had that had a horrible offseason? Was injured all through camp. Remember that guy skipped, skipped the voluntary rookie mini camp? Was injured all through training camp? Didn't play his first game till, till, till Atlanta, which is like week four or five or some shit. And then he went on to be probably one of the three best receivers we had on this team. His name was Odell Beckham. So before you count Kadarius Tony out over offseason bubblegum random bullshit, check yourself. Because the last time y'all did that to a wide receiver, Odell Beckham ended up being the biggest thing to hit New York since, since fucking 50 Cent. So it's like, chill out. You understand me? Chill out. I promise to defend this team against all threats, foreign and domestic. Now, dead all this Kadarius Tony slander. We're going to have a problem. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.